so first of all we will open the Android studio on, on the left side of the window we can see the recent project but we will create one new project now we will just provide the basic details like application name project location company domain and we will click on the next but first of all I will change the project location now just click on the next and now in the next window I will select the appropriate device and API and we click on the next here we will create the activity here we have activity name and layout name which is simple you know, just click on the finish now it will take some time now here we go we have main activity file under the java folder and we have layout file our activity underscore main under the resource layout folder now this is the text view here we have design view now i will simply remove all the components so i mean to say like text view and all this i will remove this and i will convert this constant layout to linear layout it is not compulsory but i will prefer linear layout so i will convert it to linear layout now click on the legacy that contains list view in a palette window now i will add it to the design and here we have list view as you can see now let's go to its property here first of all i will assign the id so just type the id and suggestions will be there i will assign my custom id that is the my list view now let's just save me now just checked out yes we can see my list view is there now we can move to the coding and we can start coding so first of all i will create an array of string <coughs> that contains list or let me say list item so i'm creating array of application names so let me create string array app name and let me assign the application names YouTube and then Google Play and what uh, WhatsApp is there Facebook uh, you can write it down your own favorite I'm just listing applications that are in my mind so simply we have created one string array now next step is to create um, array adapter okay this uh, adapter is nothing but it will work as a filler so it will fill the our list view with the entries of array so I will create one error adapter and we pass the string because we are string array. We'll create the default name adapter. Now this adapter generally has a three parameter. First parameter will be the context that is with this. And then what kind of uh, view actually you want? For that we'll write android.r.layout dot simple list item one. We have so many options are there, but I will keep it to the simple. So I will select list item one. And the third parameter will be the entries that will fill the list. So we have error that contains entries. So I will write RNM. Now we have to fill the list we have adapter we have array so i will create one list view reference and i will find this i will find view by id method to look at the list view 
Now this list view has one interesting method that is a set adapter and we will add this adapter to the list. Now we have everything ready. We have adapter, we have error, we have list view. So this list adapter will fill the list with these entries of error and it will be displayed. So let me run this. I have connected my phone, so I'm gonna run this application on my phone. I'm mirroring my phone's screen using the free applications and here are here is the screen yeah it's working so you can see this list is filled by the entries of array I have created okay but there is no scroll so let me just put more entries uh, let me just copy and paste these all the entries again so duplicate records will be there but it will be perfectly fine for me at the present moment so now let me run this again so we have scroll bar over there so we can scroll down this activity yeah we have scroll bar yes we can scroll this activity let me do this it's scrolling down as you can see on the screen but what if I select an item from the list okay so nothing is happening at all so what if I want to put some code when I click on the activity sorry when I click on the item of the list so I will add the item listener that is the set on item click listener and here we have one interesting parameter in on item click that is the position and it will return the position of the item from the list which has been clicked I mean tabbed so here we have entries of array it and I will pass it that position to that array so it will return its name and I am concatenating this values now let me run the again here we have instant run option also okay so let me run it again and here we have list as it was and we can scroll it down yeah it's working now let me just click or tap on the list item say Y city, yeah, it's perfectly working. Y city has been selected. Let me do it again. Okay. Yeah, it's perfectly fine.